<coughs> sorry. Well, hello again, YouTube. Um, this is Wes. Sorry, I'm getting adjusted. Um, this is Wes. I am in Texas. Um, maybe hints the Texas flag on the fence behind me. Um, I am at my folks' house down here in Abilene, Texas for the uh, Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, we actually, my, my grandmother passed away um, last week on Monday and, um, or sorry, no, it was two weeks ago on Monday. And anyway, um, my wife and my two kiddos, we all just, and heck, even my dog, Baxter, come here, come here, come say hi. This is Baxter, Baxter, look, 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 come here, come here. This is Baxter, he's the best dog ever. Oh, yep. Hi. Hi. I'm doing a tobacco review, Baxter. Get squirrel. Get squirrel. Oh, yeah. All right. So, um, anyway, we are in town, and um, we're here in Abilene, Texas. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous weather. A um, little bit windy, but um, given what, oh, golly, given what um, weather Littleton, Colorado was having, um, I'm glad to be here. And folks are great. It's great to have time with family. Uh, my brother and his wife and their new little kiddo will be here on Wednesday. So we're really excited to see get the family together. And um, even though it's a bummer, um, my granny was definitely a gospel-believing lady, and um, she uh, I'll see her later. Um, so we're, we're happy to uh, celebrate her life. Um, so, uh, I went down to the Leaf uh, here in Abilene, Texas. It's in downtown Abilene. And well, my dad took me down there um, and said, hey, why don't you pick out some tobacco? Uh, we can smoke it while you're here. And I was looking at the rack, and sure enough, what did I see? Um, first of all, their tin prices are great. Um, I think if you were to... If you were to try to find a better price online, um, the only way you could beat them is if you bought um, quite a few tens, um, and shipping ended up being uh, less um, because their prices are very competitive, especially with some shops in um, in Littleton and Sheridan, which is actually where I go to get most of my tobacco. Um, so their prices are very competitive um, for a smaller tobacco shop, which is awesome. And uh, lo and behold, um, not only were the jars organized well, but on the top row, in the top corner of the top row, um, I saw something that I that really just blew my socks off, um, so I had to get some. So, um, uh, they had bulk Esoterica Penzance. Um, so I have never tried this before, and I've seen reviews and all sorts of things um, about what this is. And, uh, you know, I wasn't even sure what the cut would be. And let me just see. I'm hoping not to bench this, to, to uh, bump this bench, because it's got my camera balance on it. But um, I'm not sure if you can see the cut on this. Let me see if I can get the camera to... Let me see if I can get that. Maybe? Anything? Anything? I don't know. Um, anyway, so that's that. It's uh, pretty coarse. Um, you know, lots of lots of chunks, lots of pieces. Um, you know, we'll see. I'll break this up. See if I can uh, make this smoke well. Um, pretty moist. Um, I typically haven't seen one of these coarse cut. I don't know if you call this a cube cut. Somebody help me out in my comments. Um, I don't know if this would be a cube cut or what this would be. I mean, it's not a not a brick. Uh, maybe that's a cube. Um, I just don't have much experience with um, things that aren't pretty much ribbon cut. Um, I love, love Latakia. It has been a while since I've had a Latakia blend. Um, yeah, I just, for some reason, have always gone to something else. When I've gone to the tobacco shop or bought stuff online, uh, my last review was for the uh, Golden Days of Yore by Cornell and Deal. Um, eh, still up for grabs if anybody wants it. Um, I actually brought it to Texas with me. So, um, anyway, I'm going to light this up and let you know what my thoughts are. Um, I understand that this is an Oriental, and this has a lot of Oriental and a lot of Latakia. Somebody help me out. I know that there are plenty of fans out there. Um, I know that Penzance has plenty of people that are 
diehard fans. Um, and from what the extremely helpful young lady said in the tobacco shop um, here in Abilene, what she said is that there have been quite a few people that have come in that have been referenced there from other people out of town, and they just buy all their bulk tobacco that's, uh, that, are, that are good purchases. They just buy them all. So anyway, um, Balkan Sobrani, I think that's the one she said they had a lot of, and one guy came in and bought every single, every single, I think it was 10, or bought every ounce they had in the store. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know if I want to be that guy. Um, I don't know if there's any tobacco I've ever had that has made me want to spend, I mean, who knows, that was probably two, three hundred dollars on tobacco right there. Anyway, um, once again, Cobb, this is my old buddy. Um, this is just my regular old um, diplomat Cobb. As you can see, there's some kernels that are burned out, but anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and light this up and uh, let you know what I think. I'm actually really pumped to have a Latakia blend back in my rotation. Mm. Mm. Okay, right away, this is something I've missed. A lot of, oh, I just can't even say anything. <laughs> Let me back this down. I have found on other coarser cut tobacco, it's a little harder to keep it lit. You really got to get that first burn going. So, anyway. That's, you know, Hmm. This burns differently than other tobaccos that I had. Um, I may just not have it lit very well. Um, gracious, it's great to get that back. Um, I have enjoyed um, Edwards Supreme from Edwards Pipe and Tobacco. Um, they're a chain, and. Uh, I enjoy just their bulk um, Supreme or their, I think it's Vintage Balkan, maybe. This reminds me a lot of the Vintage Balkan. Um, yeah, uh, Vintage Balkan, this reminds me a lot of it. Um, a little bit more, I would say, on the, I, I mean, I'm just kind of reaching here because I, I don't have terribly much experience with Latakia's um, and Oriental blends, but um, I would say that this, what I get from this is more, I think the Latakia, I want to say that, that overpowers, but at the same time, I think it's more Oriental than it is Latakia, and maybe, uh, maybe I, that could be completely wrong. Um, someone, once again, someone help me out in my comments. Um, if you're a fan of Penzance, please let me know your thoughts. Uh, yeah, because this is my first time trying it. just love that. Oh. I think I may have to go back down there and buy some more. I got two other blends, um, two other bags of tobacco. I'm a cheapskate. Um, I don't really go over the board, overboard with tobacco or any purchases, really. Um, I like to keep my money. Um, 
and put it into things that are worthwhile, like uh, buying more toys for my kids <laughs> or stuff. So, um, I think I got McClellan's um, Coyote Classic, I think so. Um, some Latakia in that one. And then I got um, my mixture, 965, which um, uh, Al the Piper, um, he's another YouTube uh, pipe community member. He gave me some of that, and I knew that I liked it. I think it's a Scottish blend. Um, anyway, mixture 965, saw that bulk, grabbed an ounce of that. So, anyway. I am a fan of this. I'm greatly a fan of this. So this is Penzance um, by Esoterica, and uh, I just, yeah, this is just something else for sure. Mm. Anyway, um, I think my little boys are about to be up from their nap. So just wanted to come out here and give you guys this quick review. Say, hey, what's up? Um, happy week of Thanksgiving. Um, I need to, uh, I need to message Hillman and see if he wants to hang out. I, I reckon he's, he's from around these parts. Um, he and I messaged a couple weeks back. See if he wanted to meet down at the Leaf and, uh, have a smoke. Um, so I think I only have about five days that I'll be in town. Anyway, if I don't talk to you guys, hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Plenty of things to be thankful for. Um, yeah, just, uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And uh, happy Thanksgiving, eat some turkey, uh, watch some football, and uh, don't forget to light up a bowl and uh, smoke one for me. All right, we'll see you guys later. Adios.